Marius de Wilde was a French railway guardian who had an encounter with a couple of short alien humanoids on September 10, 1954. After he was alerted by his dog, he came out of his house and saw a cigar-shaped object resting on the railway and a couple of small humanoids. He alerted the local authorities about his encounter and after investigating the area, they found several pieces of evidence that corroborated de Wilde's story. Did Mr. de Wilde experience a close encounter with visitors from another planet? DeWilde lived in a house by the tracks close to the railway station at Quarable, Nord, France. On the night of September 10, 1954, around 10.30 p.m., his dog started barking. At first Mr. DeWilde ignored the barking, but after his dog continued to bark frantically, he decided to investigate the cause of his dog's anxious behavior. He grabbed his flashlight, and he went outside. He walked towards the tracks, and then he saw a strange cigar-like object resting on the tracks of about six to seven meters away from him. He could hear steps coming from behind the object. He pointed his flashlight in that direction, and he saw two small humanoid figures, about 80 centimeters to one meter high. He indicated that they were wearing what resembled deep-sea divers' suits, with helmets made out of a very reflective mirror-like material. When he approached them, a green beam of light came out of the object which left him temporarily paralyzed. After that, the beings boarded their vehicle and took off to the sky. Mr. DeWild informed the local police about his encounter. Police officers were sent to investigate the incident. At the site of the encounter, they found a six-meter depression and the exact point where the object had landed, the small rocks under the train tracks were all carbonized and symmetric marks were found on the sleepers between the steel lines. According to reports, DeWilde could not approach the point where everything happened, because it made him feel sick. Battery-powered objects were drained of energy, both DeWilde's flashlight and his telephone had stopped working. The evidence police officers found at the scene of the encounter was very compelling, proving that something unusual had happened there. Several local people claimed sightings of objects and creatures similar to the ones witnessed by DeWilde. Because there were reports of similar encounters in the area to what Mr. DeWilde described, and taking into account the evidence found by the officers at the site, we can conclude that he in fact, witnessed the events he described. What it's hard to know for sure, is exactly who the visitors were, or where they came from. Were these humanoids visitors from another planet? Or were they perhaps part of some secret government experiment? What do you think about this case? Were the humanoids extraterrestrial visitors? Were they a secret experiment? Or maybe man-made robots sent from the future? <laughs>